Hopefully that's okay. Could you hear it that time? I worked so hard to set that stuff up and then like, um, I still haven't quite figured out how to do good sound balance, so um, this might blow you away when I turn this stuff back on. Yay! I accidentally deleted the navy one, so I'll have to like redo that one. While I was trying to like make the sound effects work better, I accidentally deleted one, so that was pretty cool. That happened like right before the stream. Uh, let's see. I think I have everything ready to go. Let's see if our... How's that for sound? Anything too quiet, too loud? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Sorry, every time you click off, it turns off the sound. All right. Looks like there's only a couple of us here. just getting started. I'm trying to set up. I still haven't figured out exactly how to balance the sound aspects of it because if it's, I either get the music too loud or I get everything too soft. Like there is no in between. Still bad at this. Still very new to it, but we'll work through it. So I can't remember exactly where we are because it's been a whole week since we played. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. So we must have seen the stars. That's right, we did see the stars. I can't remember what else, if we had done everything else except for... I guess we just wander around and find out. So I still don't feel super well. I have a sore throat today. Um, I worked last night and I felt like a little tickle in my throat and I was like, ah, oh, no. I better hydrate. And I did, but it didn't matter. Not even a little bit. <clears throat> so we'll see how long my voice lasts today. Yes, just like that. A hundred health professionals for hydrate. Could you hear the sound effect with the uh, music going? I think we had done pretty much everything and... Aww. I am sorry that you are not feeling up to par. I hope your kidney stones are all healed up, though. Also good. I'm glad that you can still hear it. Um, I think it's just that time of year. It seems like everybody's sick. Um, I tried to go on some decongestant, but it makes me feel funny. Like, I don't like being on decongestant, and then 
I tried uh, to just kind of ignore it and keep going, and that seems to be backfiring now, so. I normally get really bad tonsillitis at least once a year and have to go on antibiotics for it. So. Not a super surprise, but. Yep. Okay, so we are gonna go. Actually, I had I went to a specialist because my ears were always plugged and he wants to take out my tonsils but it's hard on you when you're an adult to take out tonsils it's a much more involved process you're off your feet for sure for like I mean if you can find where to buy me a cyborg body per particularly like my ears my throat my stomach. My stomach gives me issues sometimes, too. That would be great. Yeah. And, like, I didn't really have trouble with- I guess maybe they should have removed them as a kid. But, they didn't, regardless. I'm probably significantly older than you, Boshi. Couldn't be all the Diet Coke. Nah. I had trouble with this way before I drank Diet Coke. Back when I still drank full strength, uh, full strength Mountain Dew. Because that was terrible gamer cliche. Except for that I took off weight instead of put on weight. Because I wouldn't take any time to, uh, do anything but play video games. I mean, that's a theory. All the extra acid, but I don't. My tonsils are enlarged. They need to come out. But I have to take off at least two weeks, and the way that my job works now, because I'm like part time. Oh, the stomach stuff. <laughs> Didn't we all at one point? Are you still in your 20s? Because that's when mine happened. Not the melon. It was regular Mountain Dew, but... I guess I should be more in the center of my thing here. Alright, we're gonna go do another spooky date. Do you guys remember there, at one point when World of Warcraft was really big, they had Horde and Alliance um, Mountain Dew. It was, the Alliance stuff was really good, and it also, like, it was just full of blue dye. And, like, your teeth were blue for more than an hour after you drank it. Your tongue and everything was all blue. If I remember right, your pee turned kind of a funny color. You're like, mm, that's kind of greenish. I don't know if that's healthy. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I have a couple of friends that have food dye allergies, which, man, that had, has to suck because it's in everything. Um, yes, exactly like Eiffel 65. Hey, B. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. Want to talk about it? Nah. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> okay. Oh, what are you up to today? Wandering around town? Whatever you want to do. Oh wait, do I have to... Is this not the spooky one? This must not be the spooky one. So we have to go see Greg then. I think. Because we were going to do the, the Greg path. Wandering around town. Have fun. Uh, so I don't want to ruin the Greg path. Let's go check on Greg. And see if he offers to do something with us tonight. I can't remember exactly how many like nights and stuff there are. It's been a while since I last played. I'm 
I'm not great with specific details. I'm more of a big picture person. <laughs> Sup, Duder? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. I saw some space bugs. I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole? Huh. Yep. <clears throat> yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? To replace the idea of a caring God? I can throw in some chips. <laughs> I'm good. So what's up? Just checking in. You want to hang out? Let's hang out. Yeah, man. Let's roll. Yeah, so this must be a regular day. Our boy. Yep. Oh, this is the good one. Our boy is not looking good. Yep. Anyway. So, what are we doing tonight? I don't know. We have B's car. Oh, really? We should go to Donut Wolf! So, Superman does good. You're doing well. That's right. Oh, yeah! Haven't been since I got it back. I need some of those slammer cakes. They have pancakes now for some reason, too. Ooh. Hey, Captain. Donut Wolf. Huh. I don't know how I'm supposed to read just that. <clears throat> They got pancakes now. Fine. Ride the chariot! To Donut Hell! Ah, woo! Car time, car time. And that's all the people I've kissed. That's two people. Kinda. One and a half. Whatever. Like, your average is any better. Angus, you've been really quiet. <clears throat> Sorry. You okay? We're gonna get pancakes. Hey, Angus. Angus. Hey. Gonna get them flapjacks? Angus. <laughs> Paging Dr. Jackson. Dr. Flap Jackson. Please report to my belly. Okay, yes. Pancakes. Dude. Dude. God. Damn. It. Whoa, did we get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No, donut wall! May. We'll get there. We'll push the car. Okay. You all stay in here. Of course we do not. Because it's a flat. You don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? You just don't. It 
messes up the wheel or something. Ruins the rim. How do you know so much about cars? We can fix it. With what? We gonna get some sticks? That's silly. No, I mean, people fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do when they have a goddamn tire. Guys, why are you being such a dick? Why am I the one that has to be the responsible one? Guys! What, May? Don't yell at me! Ugh, I'm gonna go wander. Fine. Fine. Okay, ah! Oh, they mad. Oh, they so mad. So what are we doing? Well, I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We could call someone. Oh, do we suddenly carry phones? Because there's magically a signal now? In this piece of shit town? Jeez! Okay, well... Geez, look at those woods. This is like the perfect place to dump a body. That's tough to find. Good body dumping woods. Could go see if there's any bodies in there. Eh. Can you? Can you? Okay. Hey, Genghis is. What? What? <clears throat> There's a spare back here. Oh! Oh, nice! Did he not check? <clears throat> That's one good thing. Anyone, like, know how to do the tire? Yeah. Can I help? No. Dude! May, you're not a bad person, but I do not trust you with any part of this process. Jeez, man. Jeez! <laughs> I'm just standing there awkwardly. Too bad you didn't get partially eaten by a shark. Too bad you didn't get serial killed. Too bad you didn't start doing drugs and then died from the drugs. <clears throat> Sounds like Tay. <laughs> we tried weed a while back. <clears throat> Too bad you didn't OD from it. Okay, are you two done? Finally here. Yup. Aw, oh, yeah. That wolf of the donut. Ah, woo! Yup. <clears throat> Welcome to Donut Wolf, home of the Slammer Cake, now featuring pan. Cakes with special howling mad maple syrup. How would you like to ride the chariot today? Why does Donut Wolf have a chariot? Like, Donut Wolf chariot. This is, oh, you can't see it, but over there you can, right there you can kind of see that it's just like a wolf made of a, with like a donut body. Like it has nothing to do with chariots never noticed that before. Hello, sir. Mighty fine donuts you got there. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> we'll take a half dozen go-nuts. Dude, we should get chariot wheels. We got chariot wheels last time. 
I want slammer cakes. Actually, we're out of slammer cakes. What? How can you be out of slammer cakes? That's like half of the reason to come here. Dude, just pick something. Okay, we'll take half a dozen chariot wheels. Would you like them with eternity sauce? No. All right, all right. I'll take six chariot wheels, six doom nuts. I guess let's just get more chariot wheels. I don't think this matters much. No eternity sauce. Last time I had that, I stayed up all night cleaning the entire house. Not a bad thing to do. It's kind of like me on Sudafed. Yes, ma'am. Are we eating here? <clears throat> I guess. Whatever. Um. Yeah, let's eat here. Fine. I'm gonna go find a seat. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. This is fun. I think he was being sarcastic. Do I do things? This isn't fun. This blows. Why are things weird? Why doesn't this feel good? Everything is stupid. I'm going to break something. You doing things? I get to uh, pull off all the toilet paper. Oh, okay, that's a lot. That's 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 a lot. I know, right? I made a lightning bolt, guys! I made a lightning bolt. What do I want here? Oh, stomp, 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 stomp. And then I just put a bunch of stuff in the toilet. This one's actually like super dangerous. Like, this will start a fire. Dude, stop! What the hell? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Okay, fine. That was a dumb question. Okay, why are you doing this? Do I need a reason? Yeah, I kind of think you do. Since when? What are you even doing in here? Getting you. I can find my way out myself. Fine. 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 Kind of a weird question, but did you go before you decided to trash the bathroom? Or... <sighs> Greg, I didn't even have to go. Okay, jeez. I do now. We have a table for when you're done. Leave. Right, okay. Can I go back over here? Can I talk to this guy again? No, apparently not. No comments on any of this stuff? Alright. That's a little disappointing. At least I get to jump. I hate it when they take away my jump ability. So. Ha. 
How are you guys doing? Anything new? Other than, you know, all the stuff that's been happening? Ghosts and stuff? Yep. That's pretty new. <laughs> the awkwardness. Hey, Angus, how'd you get B's car for tonight? She was going to a party out of town. But I guess she lost her nerve. Oh. If you choose B's path, she goes to the party. You get to go to the party with her. <clears throat> and you get to make May dance, and it's super cute. Oh. I think Greg and I were supposed to do something. This is something! Let's just eat. Yes, please. Let's eat. Woohoo! Oh, God. If God even exists. These donuts. You're not religious, right, Angus? No. Have donuts ever made you think twice? No. I want this one. Bernie. So how's our son working out? He's in our living room. He sure is. Pretty great. Yep. I want the blue one this time. <laughs> Did you see the screen kind of like move? She's getting affected by the sugar. Greg, you're awful quiet. Just eating. <laughs> You've never had a problem talking and eating at the same time before. This isn't awkward at all. I'm so glad I'm here. I want this dark side of the moon one. Ugh. Donut sick already. You gotta train for that. It smells. <clears throat> Dude! Donut wolf? The robot thing. I thought you'd like it. I smell, and you like me. Yeah, to both of those things. Greg spent a lot of time and effort on that robot because he thought you'd love it. And you also got electrocuted twice. <clears throat> no, he did it because it was fun. No matter what could happen. Peace. Let's do... There's a half and half. This one. <laughs> See the colors starting to like separate and stuff. Oh, feeling woozy. Angus, you're being rude. I'm being rude. We're trying to get out of here both working our asses off and you come waltzing back into town and suddenly Greg is breaking into grocery stores abandoned ones and like stealing car batteries abandoned ones and messing up our already crappy apartment <clears throat> sorry my throat feels funny <clears throat> hey dude come on Wait, how is this my fault? Whatever, I'm eating. Mm, let's do this one. Oh, gripes. Sweet cripes. I'm falling 
into the sky. It's like when I take Sudafed. <laughs> Gotta balance it out with some Benadryl. <clears throat> Uh, it was all weird colored. Puke isn't usually that color. I mean, I ate a bunch of strangely colored donuts. Why would it not be weirdly colored? It was like multiple colors. You okay, May? <clears throat> yeah, no, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna do the bigger one. I have a really weak stomach. Yeah, you puke a lot. <laughs> I get pukey at, like, baby food, the inside of pumpkins, any beer, too much donuts. I never puke. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. <laughs> I am really mad at you two. Why? I hate awkward silences. Am I like ruining your lives or something? Just tell me instead of, just tell me if I am instead of whatever this is. Do you not like me anymore, Angus? Am I like making things weird, Greg? It seems that Angus is the one that's upset, so I normally ask this one. What? No, May, I like you fine. Why are you being weird then? Um, so. <clears throat> Angus, I'll take this. Thanks, hon. Hello. You're actually posting. I feel special. <clears throat> Me, remember my uncle? Sheep farm out past Brittle. Out by the interstate? Yeah, kinda. When I was like eight, my parents got sick of me. <laughs> yeah, they had me enable a bunch of like safety features when I hit affiliate, so I was just like, whatever. Sorry about that. And we spend like, a month there in the summer, and I spend the whole time him Sheep are cool. Sheep are nice. Sheep are nice. I got to pet one once. Sheep are real dumb is what they are. Noon before dinner, my uncle and for some reason, I opened the gate. Why? So, a bunch of sheep basically immediately bolted and I chased after and I chased after you dumbass sheep you tried bug they ran across the field and into the woods and there was this really steep hill that went down to the interstate oh oh no what happened Four got splattered by a semi-truck. Some ran back up the hill. But three made it over the median and across to the other side. And they just stopped. And I got to the bottom of the hill by the road, which was like sh covered in sheep guts and parts. Ooh. And we just looked at each other across the interstate. Me waving my hands. Two ran back, got hit by another truck. If you ask him if the truck stopped, he says no, they do not, did not. They totally didn't. That's probably illegal. But the other one, he ran down the hill on the other side, into the woods, and no one ever saw him again. Jeez, dude. Hey, your tattoo. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> I slipped out the meaning. 
That's awful for you. Poor sheep. <clears throat> but if I was in their position, I'd have run too. And I want to be the one that got away. And I want Angus to come with me. Like, I failed those sheep. Just like, you know, everything has failed us. That's a bit. No one even denies it. No one tries to talk you out of leaving here. And yeah, being the old, only queer people in town sucks. I'm here. You already left once. But I'm... Back. I can't stay. We can't stay. I guess. And I love Angus. I love both of you. Obviously in different ways. Thanks for clarifying. <clears throat> we have a plan and we're working our asses off to make it happen. Two guys, full-time, minimum wage. I have to grow up a bit. I did grow up a bit. May, you have to let me change. Sorry I was rude earlier. It's okay. Remember the time we almost burned the school down? <laughs> yeah. Fireworks. Student council poster. Just whoosh. Hey, hey. We have more of this game left than I thought we did. I forgot about, like, uh, this extra night, and then there's at least one more night of just the spooky stuff, and then can't remember if there's one more hangout night or not, but we probably won't finish it on this stream. So, probably one more Sunday of Night in the Woods, I would bet. God, that was a good night. Soaked from the sprinklers. Running through the parking lot. Laughing our asses off. <laughs> oh my god, yes! That was maybe the best night of my entire life. It's one of the all-time greats. Kids still talk about it. That night lives on, man. Well, we can at least be legends. Forever. Well, tonight was a complete bust. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing, Angus. I'm sorry, too. It's cool. And I have an idea. Oh, yeah? You up for one more big crime? You can come this time, Angus. Do a crime with us. I... Okay. Ah, Captain. Captain Criminal. Let's go! Oh. <laughs> this thing is gonna really freak some kids out. Yeah, dude. They're gonna tell stories about this thing. They'll never know what it is or how it got here. You guys sure you're okay with it? <laughs> <laughs> keep, my voice keeps cracking when I do Angus. Yeah, this is a good home for it. Leave it for the kids. Let it be a legend. Hmm, yeah. Too bad it didn't fall on you. Too bad you didn't get your arm caught in the gears. Too bad both of you didn't get trapped in the car after a wreck and explode all over the road and have to be scraped up with a snow shovel. Nice. Decent, Captain. Hehe. <laughs> oh. 
All right, well, moving on. Yep. Ah. Uh, Oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Goodbye. <laughs> Let's be legends. You guys can't see it, but um, it doesn't go across the capture, but I just got an achievement for Let's Be Legends, which was what I was after. Hooray. Dadder. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. That's how it goes sometimes. But it's not always a great reason. I know. It's just... I've been having these dreams. And I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real and I think something really bad is gonna happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff and where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight but like Everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I just had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah, money problems make everything worse. I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive? And, and, and... Kitten, take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. So she's hinted at this before. She's real unhappy that Greg is leaving, that he has found, like, something to move on with, that um, everybody seems to be leaving or gone, and she doesn't have any plans. Like, she doesn't want things to change, but... She doesn't have any choice. Why don't you get some sleep? Because the nightmares are there, Dad. Can I just stay down here for a little bit? As long as you like. Aw, oh, we love our dadder. Oh, don't make me do garboy malloy. Malloy. Gobbo? Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. Uh, 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 uh. Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time spot. Uh, 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 uh. These are big questions, Garbo. They don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a church goer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. Ha, 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 ha. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy. But it would be... No, Appa. If anybody can figure out the significance of, like, Garbo and Malloy, like, it's very strange. I don't understand. Coming up next, Garbo and I can contact the dead. 
I mean, I guess it kind of mirrors what you go through at some points. Like, just there, they were talking about God watching. Hmm. Dad, talk to me more. Can we, can we do anything else with anything? Oh, this is just the crawl space. Did not mean to go in there. Bounce, 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 bounce. See your Dracula teeth that we saved from the trash? Because you guys insisted that I wouldn't die? Hmm. Did we check this already? Techonomy today. Turn up founder Mike Eggplant to buy postal service. Yeah, I think we did. Hey, hey, B. You up? Yes, ma'am. What's up? Nothing. Little sick from Donut Wolf. Yeah, that's why I don't go there. It's so good. How can it be so good and, like, mean to you? It's a wild world, May. Anyway, I puked, and then we dropped a robot in the woods. Okay, I'm too sleepy to decipher that. Go to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Oh, missed. Hey, man. Hey, man. <clears throat> Sorry about, like, everything. Are we still apologizing? Can we be past that part? Haha. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know. Ha ha ha. Night neuter. Night. Bedtime? Yes. I'm super excited for the next spooky thing. Spooky, spooky, spooky. And wake up. Boot time. What do people on the internet have to say? Hello, May. Pickaxe added me. <clears throat> you know the drill. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Hello. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Away message. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next week. Hey. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. Boink. Let's go see our mommer. Oh, new, new portrait stuff. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. No, I want to talk to that bird. Hey, bird. Things are, like, really intense right now. <laughs> Pray to your bird god for my soul, bird. I think you'll do it. We've been bonding lately. Me and the bird. Me and the bird. Bounce. Bounce. Hi, mama. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Jeez, Mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, honey. I'm an adult 
I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. Mayhan, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems and the house, and I'm just so sorry. You, we, we wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay. Really, we'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too, honey. Aww. Okay. I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah. Got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. Eels? I kept, I keep the really good prescription headache medicine on my nightstand. I can give you half of one. Only half? Honey. You're, you know. Short. Half would be fine. <laughs> it's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be any help. Hey, Ma. Wait. Oh, 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 I just, I got to jump it in and got myself in trouble. Story of my life. Any more? Nope, she done talking. So when we logged on, we saw Chazikov, so that means that we probably don't have Chazikov today. Uh, let's go out to the edge of town real quick. I don't think there's anything there. Maybe rabies, but maybe not. Allergies are still stupid. Hey, rabies. How's life? That's good to hear. Back in school, we had to write this thing. Like, if you could be I anywhere in uh, 15 years, where would you be? And it was an easy assignment. Because I drew it when I was like 15. And it hasn't changed Except that it was, except it was 20 years then. What? I'm on a farm or something like that. But I'm not with like animals or crops or something. Maybe corn. I like cornfields. Maybe here, maybe in like Idaho or something. And there, she's there. In the drawing, she's a she. And we're married. Or no, like... Whatever they do in Idaho. <laughs> My teacher wrote, I think they just get married. But no, I meant like out on the frontier. You just stay with someone long enough and that's a thing. Whatever. I can call it what I want. Anyway, we go out and wander around and do work together. And we come home and we're all gross. And your face feels like it does when it's been windy all day cold out and we order pizza my teacher was like on a farm in Idaho yeah there's a town nearby in this drawing <laughs> it was a big drawing <laughs> and we eat pizza and I'm playing a video game and she's making something like she does work woodworking or she's a blacksmith or something <laughs> so she has really rough hands 
teacher was like, she's doing woodworking and or blacksmithing in the living room. And she has boots, but like mine are muddy, but hers are all scuffed up from work, from the wood or the fire or something. <laughs> Where is this going? I haven't seen this before. And we have two big burly cats from the barn and a dog and we howl at the moon together. Parts of it I've wanted since I was a kid. The cats and the dog at least. No children. No children. No children. How about you rabies? Does rabies want babies? Do you have big plans? Hmm. Too true, rabies. Too true. All right, I'm off. Thanks for saying hello. See you around. Be safe and eat trash. And common pests. Not super cute. It's madness. It's poop madness. I've never seen that before. That's really cute. Glad we checked it. Let's go over talk to Selmer. Oh. Oh, God. What do you want? I don't remember what voice I gave Molly. She talks so infrequently. Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. Medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay. Yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this. Whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, no one believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff is going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. No more talks? Okay. Hi, Selmers. Hey, Selmers. <laughs> Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true. They are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. You noticed anything like weird around here lately? Weird as in ghost man? As in kids, ghost man. A ghost man? Yeah. Not that I recall. I think I'm going crazy. I think maybe I'm seeing things. My mom sees ghosts. Swears there's one in the basement. But she's wrong. How do you know? I live in the basement. Are you a ghost? <laughs> Not yet. Wow, she got a lot to say today. 
forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Hold on. Get, get up. Thank you. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Is that all you got to say, Mr. Hill Billy Man? Look at our miracle rats! Do you see them? That hill is really tall. Let's go down and see if there's a guy hunting tunnelfish. Maybe he's got a new rhyme for us. Will tunnelfish be always there? Will tunnel drain canal be bare? I would miss the tunnelfish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain that tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. aren't down here. The guy with the boat is not down here. More miracle rats! outside tell us off either. Fat pocket fun. There's a kitty in that window. Let's go see Mommer. So Bruce is gone, remember? Oh, we can look at the statue today. We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. Is that it? Remember that Bruce left, our drifter friend? Oh, she doesn't know yet. Wonder where Bruce has gone to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He... What? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. Seems pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. She knows that she like kind of lost that war against the city council, whoever that was. Why are you lagging? Stop lagging. She doesn't have anything else to say. Let's go see Mama. I doubt there's anybody in here, but we'll peek. Love and peace. Indiana, come here. My cat is 
is just like meowing at things in the background. We've already been going an hour. Wrong way. There's our mommer. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez. I'm betting not. God's patient, hon. Like nature. Such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. Got this creeping dread thing going on. So, just ignore me. Okay, hon. Can I do anything? Not really. Have you? What is it? I don't know. Purposely commenting, th committing this me this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great to, uh, with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Okay, kitty. Can we can we sit down? Can we? Yep. Okay. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. Go to mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? <gasps> oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. Doesn't get a lot of use these days. But it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. We kind of get to go back in the room that I've been trying to go in the entire, you know, time we've been playing this. Door back there is unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. As I slam her head into a door frame. Oh. Okay, we have to wait here for a couple seconds. She gonna take a little nappy nap. In the sunshine, like a cat. <gasps> Who dat? I can't remember really what happened. I know that he just like sits with you or something, but it's your grandpa. Grandpa cat. He's watching over ya. I don't think, I can't remember, but I don't think anything else happens. He just comes and sits with you while you sleep. Um, Jen, Dead Art. I figured out what those were too. Those are the uh, the little metal guys that she squished on the train tracks. I was like, I don't understand what those are, and then uh, it just like occurred to me more like randomly. It's like I bet it's the dude she's squishing. Violin guys up there again. What you got to say? Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so far since we met. Not sure why he has a British accent. A bad one. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. I think it is the same thing, isn't it? I'll play till my fiddle catches fire. 
What you got, Lori? You okay? Yeah. I'm like only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine and some crackers and ginger ale and lay in bed and watch bad movies. Thanks for the advice, Doc. Don't mention it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. May, are you okay? Mm. 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 May. Ugh. Sorry. Spaced out there for a second. Is that what that was? I thought she was just like humming or whining or something. You should, like, see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. All right, well, I'll probably see you later. Probably. Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Aw, little Lori's worried about you. There's a cat up there. Can I get up there? There is a way to get up there. I can't remember what it is, though. I've gotten up there before. Is there anything else over here? I legit don't remember. Kicked me down to the floor. So I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? We are not actually gonna go with him. We are gonna go with B because because. There's a lot of stuff to see on bees. That's kind of important. Also, there's a really funny thing that I want to read. It's amazing. Well, that's it. Shipping out tomorrow. Can't believe you actually landed the new job. Yep, moving on to better things. Kids excited? Oh yeah, they'll love it. Might take a while. Heh. <laughs> well. Yep. Yup. Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Go smelters! Yup. Um. Nothing that way. Bounce, 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 bounce. Here's our guy. What's in the news? Birds flying south earlier this er, birds flying south early this year. What does that mean? They know something we don't. Spooky. Our little miracle rats are everywhere and it makes me happy. Oh, let's go see Germ real quick. And then I think we've done everything for today. And we can go and um, do the other spooky spook. Spooky trip. Spooky trip with friends. With the spookies and the trips. Spooky friends. Hey, germ. Hey, me. Totally what's up? Other than the obvious. You seem 
something to... Do I look any different? To me, you do. Thanks for your attention. Do you want to come? Got a trampoline. Sure. Alright, let's go. This is really weird. Why? I like... I never pictured you coming from somewhere. Thought you just like... Appeared one day in a parking lot. Oh. Sorry, that was weird. It's cool. A lot of folks from this town never come back here. Got a lot of cars. Like my family. My uncles are here a lot. They fix cars with my dad. Do you drive? I bike. It's better for the environment. I just keep finding things out about you. But we're all gonna die from temperatures and water. This, uh, your tire? Nah, it's for my sisters and my cousins. You have sisters? Yeah, they're out at church stuff right now. That's why I invited you over. It's like adults night here. Adults night? One night a week, no kids! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you should meet my mom. Should I? It's tonight, since you're eating dinner here. I was kidding. I couldn't tell. You okay? I'm nervous. Why? Come on. Hey, Mom. This is me. She's eating dinner with us. Uh, hi. Oh, uh, that's his mom. Hello, me. I hope you like Sloppy Joes. Who doesn't? Nobody in this house. I thought you two should meet before dinner. That's very thoughtful, Jeremy. I'm gonna introduce me to Grandma. Oh, is that what this is about? What? Can I? You don't need my permission. Whatever happens is on you. What? Come on. Nice meeting you. You too, May. Oh no, that was kind of my old lady voice and now I've got to do an actual old lady. Here she is. Sturdy girl. She's a smoker, apparently. <laughs> my granddad said that. Did you? This is my grandma. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, see ya. Wait, what? You're looking at me. Sturdy's a good word for you. <coughs> Big bones, stout. <laughs> yep. So, is that it? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I upset you? No. Too bad. You need to be upset. <laughs> What's coming to you, little girl? It's three times the trouble you deserve. You are going to go down hard. Not far from here. Will you go down in these woods? Are you, like, telling my fortune? Little girl, I don't know what you did. You've got a dark spot in you. One day, it's gonna take a life. Might be someone else's. Might be yours. Mark my words. You're doomed. Okay. I'll, uh, try to remember that. Or actually... No. 
wow, this is stupid. You don't know me. Whatever it is that's wrong with me. Yeah, I'm not just an effing shell for my problems to walk around in. Uh, uh, you got a dark spot in you. What the actual hell do you know about me anyway? Can't stop what's coming. <laughs> but you ask a question you can't answer. Can you unhaunt a haunted house? I... What? <laughs> Had you going there for a second. What? I'm just joshing you. I have my fun. What's wrong with you? That was seriously messed up. <laughs> You're a good sport. You go outside now, dear. Let Grandma watch Judge Janice. Okay. Uh, see you around. Not likely. Little girl. A weird thing. Don't tell me what Grandma said. Why? When Grandma tells you something, when Grandma tells you something for you, it's yours. And if you give it away, it's gone. What does that mean? Watch this. Holy crap! Come on. Trampoline and music. Hey, there's a familiar face. <clears throat> what? I've seen you a whole bunch. I don't. I'm invisible. Don't let him spook you. He's been working on your street. Department of Transportation. You don't see us, but we see you. Oh, yeah, hi. Thanks for, uh, fixing our street. Yup, yup. Weren't nothing. Yeah, he's been doing the easy work. My crew's been out climbing all over those bridges in Saltstown. Oh, are they open yet? Hell no. That'll be the day. You're Stan Borowski's kid, aren't ya? Right. Yeah. We used to see him down at Miller's a bunch. Probably good we see him less now. Yeah. He didn't mean nothing by it. It's cool. Back when, your dad was something else. He's up at Ham Panther now, right? Yeah. They're pretty anti-union, huh? Yeah, he's mentioned that. Hmm. Yep, yep. Your dad's alright, kid. Okay. Yeah, he's good. How do you know my dad? I don't. I just got left out of the conversation. <laughs> you tell him Ham Panther Management could go straight to hell. Okay. That's, a uh, weird. Ain't nothing weird about it. Jeremy, we're gonna go at Hunwick this weekend. Yeah. What's in Hunwick? Old computer show. Gonna look for an old Compion 80 Commodore 64. Play some Wanderers at Oregon. Bunch of dweebs over here. Yup, yup. Okay, well, if I bounce anymore, I'm gonna puke. No need to keep bouncing. I'm not gonna be lonely. Alright. So do I have to talk here? He's having the time of his life. I wonder if you can make him... I wonder if you can make May barf. So, like, why? Dinner! Hold that thought. My cat.
that jump down. That was really good. Bet you like Sluffy Joes. Who doesn't? L what were you going to say before dinner? Oh yeah. Weird to ask, but why did you invite me up here? I don't think even Greg's been up here. Nah. Greg's cool, but like, Greg's got things pretty much figured out. Yeah, Greg's the best. Like, it seems like you've been having a hard time lately. And I thought you just like to, like, chill out for a bit. Everybody else is like, going somewhere. Or wishes they were. But you're just like, not. I don't know. I will take a drink. Yeah, remember we were talking about this earlier? When they talk to, uh, when Greg and Angus are like, they're leaving. Um, B, if you spend more time with her, she hints that she's really unhappy <clears throat> with where she is and taking over the store and stuff, but she doesn't feel like there's a way out of it. Remember her mom died and uh, she's kind of taking care of her dad and the store in her mom's place and So apparently Jerem is going to hang around too, which is nice. Thanks for dinner. Take me, Mom. No, just... Thanks. I... I've had a really long fall. I know. Glad you like Flappy Joes. <laughs> he says that like four times. Who doesn't? Gotta go now. Bye. That's not the right button, Janae. Germ, spooky grandma. Germ's got a whole family. Germ, a good guy. Delicious. Trash green rabies. Nope, nope, nope. Such nice music. I left it up a little higher, so hopefully you guys can hear it this time. Uh, did we do everything? I think we did. I think germ was the last thing we had to do. talk to Greg, see if maybe we can hit some light bulbs. Not that I'm any good with it lately. I don't know what my problem is. Probably that there are people watching. Hey, man. <clears throat> hey! How are you holding up? Got a splitting headache? Feel like I've barely slept. Even though I've slept a lot? Jeez. You okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Hear me? Wake me up somehow. Hey! Oh. Wake up! Okay, yeah, I'm awake now. So what are you up to today? Just saying hey. Hey. Alright, let's go see B and do our other spooky mission. With the spooks! Spooky, spooky mission! Oh, walked right by it. Spooky, spooky, spooky mission! Whoa. Wow. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to veg out pretty well. Nah, 
I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost? Bad. <clears throat> I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode because we don't all fit. So, yeah, not good. Nope. Hmm. Did you still want to check out the graveyard? Yep, let's do this graveyard thing. The graveyard. It's spooky. Spook, spook, spook. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. At least they let me bounce. Well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but like, whatever. So, we wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb! Don't act like this is dumb! Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? No. Oh. Things are, like, monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. The U.S. political climate. Out of spite or profit. Whoa. Jeez. I meant, like... A skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. 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 We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. All right. <clears throat> How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night. A skeleton outside your window. Well, a skeleton in your hallway is already in your house. Feel like he's more threatening. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. He's got a knife! And he's whispering things! Let's do this one. And he's a health insurance industry executive. Okay. He wants to profit off of your sickness and fear. What's he whispering? complicated fine print. <laughs> B, this isn't fun! <clears throat> and he's a ghost. Thank you! A whispering ghost of a, um, <laughs> healthcare executive. All the things you're afraid of are boring! And the scariest stuff is, like, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice! What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb, let's go. Okay, so, I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. I'm sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. 
Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. All right. I took a, oh, sorry. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into that dinosaur class back in school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. I don't think it'll let you do anything this way. Let's go back and check out graves, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta rub off all those leaves. Oh, 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 okay. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have like, pictures of the of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Catherine Fish. Ah, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Poor family. Okay. I'm just sad now. If you say the other one, it's like um, 14 years, that's not enough time for you to even get off a good sentence or something like that. Well, hi. Hey. Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a second? Shoot. Do you, like, dig the graves with a shovel? Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. <laughs> I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Friggin' sweet! I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Grave guy, career idea, grave digger. Is that all we're doing here? Brad Boysen. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. He loved his bike. He crashed his bike. Oh yeah, I bet it was like he was racing to his sweetie's house to beg her not to leave town and he took a dangerous curve too fast and went flying off a cliff and his last words whispered into the rain in mid-air were actually i love my bike more please put it on my grave okay jeez b how long does a mom visit take tick tock beatrice we got places to be holy crap i'm a jerk i mean yeah kind of what makes her feel real though why can't I go any faster can I talk to you again no <clears throat> one of my
my favorite things, my favorite um, stories is coming up pretty quick here. I'm really excited for it. Hey! Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having prob having sinkhole problems in town. Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. <clears throat> anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. <clears throat> Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried? The ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem! Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet, here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And I like, and like voices. Ah, that's like, hmm, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Why not? Remember the three weird teens that I messed up and picked the ghost on the hill instead of the shipwreck? This is them again. Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. <laughs> oh, wow! Hey, guys! You know these kids. Haha, <laughs> yeah, we've met! What are y'all doing? Okay, so... We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're standing in front of. We govern who shall pass and who shall remain. Alright, well... Answer us these questions three. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine. Whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? Done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. Uh, doesn't really hint one way or the other, other than you kiss two people and that you can't really count the one time. Because remember Greg's like, you that's two people. Like, actually one and a half. Um... I've never heard yes, though. I don't think. It was fantastic. Really? No, I'm very much lying. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you. Yeah. What? When? Summer before 8th grade, or before 11th grade. 8th grade would be way too young. <laughs> really? How did I not know this? And this is when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do, like, math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. <laughs> this is boring. Next question! Jeez, fine. 
Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something spooky at least? Dream date! Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. And we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. You're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling? I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl, but they'd have to be like, Grr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not. Grr. So you're going to wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing moment? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> That the teens don't seem to laugh at her, but May does. True friendship. True friendship. That's it? What were you expecting? Hey, thanks for the follow. Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Oh, this is so good. I think it's the high school one. Uh, oh god. Okay. One time in high school, I went to the prom with this guy, Cole. Oh, wow. I've been waiting for this story for years. And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress, and I couldn't slow dance. He was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So like, I rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm like shoving these paper towels into his mouth and I overdo it and he starts choking and like fighting back. And I'm like chowing down on these candied almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I'm like cowing through these almonds and one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has been slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver. And it works, but... I puke all over Cole. Aw, thanks! I do the best I can. I'm not a particularly talented person. But I do love the stories and I do love to bring the characters to life. And I puke all over Cole. Chicken cordon bleu. This is amazing. Right then, someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking. And me puking into the sink. So I pull all of the paper towels out of Cole's mouth. And for some reason, I think to flush them down the toilet. And that makes it overflow. So I grab Cole and I pull him out of the bathroom. Both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water and he ran away and left he was my ride now did you get home that josh kid who rode his tractor to prom so we're slowly driving driving to my house car slowing down and honking while i'm on the back crying my eyes out that was seriously messed up May I? I. I have nightmares about it, like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that.
You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay. <clears throat> Let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. So I figured they might, like, offer to look for the pentagram again, but I guess not. That's okay. No big deal. This is a really far walk. No, I've played through this game a bunch of times. Um, I did the Greg Path for the first time. I just finished that. Um, I normally either split him or go with B. So, I wanted to do the Greg Path this time, just to see it. And get the achievement, if I'm honest. So, like... Ghosts. Ghosts! Yeah, I think that B is probably the better choice of the two, honestly. Because, like, Greg and Angus, they're getting their stuff together to go to leave town, and it's pretty clear that May can't leave town. And B is also kind of stuck there for much different reasons, but she and May seem to be in a lot better proximity to be good friends, to work on their friendship and stuff like that, like between B and, like, Germ. Germ seems like he's staying too. <clears throat> it seems like the better fit of the people. Because, and B's alone. Greg's got Angus. So, I just wanted to see the path, but we can also do the, uh, we could also do the B path. I don't really mind playing this game extra. I love it. I love to do the voices for it. I haven't decided what the next game is even gonna be yet. Um, I was playing with the idea of, like, Chrono Trigger doing a classic oldie, but a goodie, but we'll see. I just like games with great stories, and it's kind of helpful if I've seen them first, because then I don't flail on stream, and you guys don't have to see me struggle and fail. So, there's that. I like them, but I don't believe in them. Or, I don't know if I believe in them. Yeah? So, you know how you've been saying you've been seeing ghosts at night. I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because, obviously, it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. Yeah. I did Grim Hollow. Grim's Hollow. It's a little free game um, during the week on, like, when, uh, Thursday. And I, I flailed pr pretty hard. I don't know that I'm going to be doing that anymore. <laughs> it's real bad. You can go back and watch it. It's on video on demand. And I had, like, it doesn't explain things really well, and the controls aren't set up very well, and you don't even have controller support. So I'm, like, trying to use the arrows and stuff to, like, control. It's, it was bad. <clears throat> okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were, like, watch a walkthrough first when it comes to games. And I do also, like, my voices um, kind of resemble Jacksepticeye's because he's, like, one of my favorite per people to watch. And I love his voices. They're my headcanon. So they do kind of sound reminiscent of his but, like, really bad rip-offs, you know? <laughs> Best I can do. Especially with a female voice. And I don't think the ghosts were, like, people. Like, they were not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here. 
air here or something. No. Trust me, none of these places look like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. <laughs> That's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Right, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out by that big ass gate. Ah, <laughs> uh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out and stop what you're probably going to do. Hmm, yeah, guess we'll never know for sure. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. I think you're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. <sighs> Fine. Hang out. I'll be back. supposed to jump to? Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to jump on the other thing first. And then I fell off entirely. Wait. Oh, I'm still inside. Okay. You have to get like a running jump and it won't let you run really. Listen, don't give me sass. I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh... I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're, you're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Oh, they took away my jump. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, oh, gross. So what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm just gonna look around. For ghosts. Ah, oh, don't make this a thing. <laughs> it's not a thing, it's cool. May, I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. I still can't jump. Sad. Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay, okay. Found some old stuff. 
What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. thought there were a couple other things to check. Maybe I am wrong. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine a big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. It's like when Caligula's uh, horse served on the Senate or something. Is there anything else I have to do? This is stupid! What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. It didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Uh whoa dude, hold up. Wakey wakey little Joe! Where's his grave? Okay, that didn't sound right. <gasps> oh, our little eyes pop out. It's so cute. Holy shit. Holy shit! What? What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah. That's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it. Right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Plausible deniability. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, your little hand shaking. Your little hand is shaking. What am I supposed to grab onto? I forget. Dun, dun, dun! Spooks! What's in this treasure? Na, 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 na. Spooks! <laughs> so, what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. Why? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Dun dun dun. Spooks. Wow, that was weird, huh? Weird. That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. 
How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine. But he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the grave the groundskeeper is a dude? Ugh. Oh, shut up. Ah, oh, I saw the effing ghost. Why does no but Uh oh. What's wrong? Ah! Holy crap. Uh, uh, my head. Jeez. Uh. Let's get to the car. I've got migraine pills and we can get you home. Oh. Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. I need everyone. Stop talking. Go get in the car. Thanks for like. Coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like... Do you have an idea of what's going on? There's a ghost that's in my head. There's a ghost and it's following me. It seems to be in her head. I have no idea. Let's try the this one. Like the night after I saw the kidnapping? Or I think it was a kidnapping. I had this dream I barely remember except for the sound, this horrible sound. And this feeling, and I kept hearing it whenever the ghost gets nearby. And it's like someone rips a hole in my brain. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like... 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have, like, sudden stress migraines. And you saw something that freaked you out. And makes you stress out. I get migraines. <clears throat> and May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball courts. It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. Harsh bro. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Th thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering up there alone at night. Close enough. All right, let's hunt some ghosts. Haven't been on a hike, night hike, in a long time. <laughs> Gotta listen for owls. 
Remember when we broke into the historical society and he got attacked by an owl? <coughs> Excuse me. Why? No reason. All right. That was squeaky. I've got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Ah. Uh. Oh, we got legends. Okay. Dramatic music for walking forward without a jump button. How have I never been back here? Fences work. Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. And a ghost. What is it, B? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Wouldn't take her for a praying person. But people surprise you. Oop. What? I think I heard an owl. Oh, oh, hon. Greg got attacked by an owl bee. What? When? When we were breaking into that history place. I don't think... I don't think they attacked big groups, bug. Well, if I get mauled to death, I warn you all. Oh. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. Aw, thanks, Captain. Big dangerous Greg, scared of birds. I almost died from that owl. Um... Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were like 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How would they even get all of this back up in here? Ugh. What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night. When you go to sleep. And so. It's out here. In the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. <laughs> Dude. Hey, me. I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No. It's fine. Ghost hunt. Whoa. Fun. Should not spam the button. That's how I missed dialogue earlier. I just want to jump. Why won't they let me jump? I don't like the way that the sky is getting red. It's spooky. What the? Huh? Oh my god. Dun dun dun! No! No! Ah hell, he's awake already. Anybody, anyone got any juice? No! No, guys! Ah hell. Guys! Guys, wait! There, if you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. 
I owned up to it. Lurv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Cause of you, God knows happen God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his legs stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. Sure wish you would have called me, Lurv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But... But I got a family. Lurv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. It's not gonna budge with that leg stay out, sticking straight out. Ah, hell. Dave, Rick, Benny. Oh, Dave, Rick, Benny. Guys, you know me. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lurv. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped playing a guilt trip on all of us. No, 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 no! Hold him still. No! Try not to scream in the microphone. Hold still. This'll go easier if... Ah! Alright, he's free. You can see him, like, his little legs are hanging out at the bottom of his coat. Or whatever that is. And you can see that it's, like, mangled now. Lurv. Ah! Lurv. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself through m to more angu anguish and... Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, Lurv. Ugh, God, his bone's sticking out. <sighs> the hell. Shit. May? May Borowski? Run. You can die here. They're coming for me. You'll never catch me. Is that a gunshot? Part four, the end of everything. Eh, we might, we could probably push through it, but it's got a couple hours left, I think. I did like four hours last time. I guess I could probably do it today, this time too. Nice. Nice. Dude, you are way better at this than I am. I'm not good at, like, anything. I still play a lot. Got lots of old games at my home. Collect them. Huh. I've never been over to your place. I don't take anyone there. Secret? I live in a tree. I believe that. Okay, well. <clears throat> My stomach's growling. Get to play this gag now. I'm actually gonna take a potty break. I'll be back in like less than five minutes. It won't take long.
Oh, I meant to leave the thing up so that you guys had music at least. Sorry. Come on. Do you want up? I did get a fresh Diet Coke, too. I think that one's pretty much gone. Come on, kitty. If you're gonna get up, get up. I have a cat. She's sitting next to my chair, and she's just, like, looking at me, meowing and pawing at the side of the chair. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah? Okay, what? You have to lay down, cat. You know the rules. Don't sass me. Okay, so, got brownies, got sodas. Hey, Gavin. Hey, bug. You making, like, three dinners at once. Brownies are in the oven. Thinking about making that lasagna we got and forgot about. We have lasagna? Are brownies and lasagna a good combo? We haven't been shopping in a week. Hey, hun. You should maybe... Go to sleep or something? You've barely sat down the past 24 hours. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Somebody's got to take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. This, <clears throat> this stuff I'm doing, this helps me. Okay, that's cool. We are going to make it through this. We are going to make it through this. Love you. Love you. Aw, they so cute. I don't see the dude. He was outside my building last night, late. Any idea who these people are? You call the cops. Probably call the cops. I'd just be like, there's somebody random sitting outside my apartment complex. Yeah, I called. They sent someone by. He was gone. Also, it's not illegal to stand on the street. It is illegal to loiter, though, if he was standing there long. I'm getting, getting dark earlier. So, is she dead? No idea. No response from her parents. Maybe they're at the hospital. She might be brain dead or something. More so than usual. Dude! Sorry, that sounded funnier in my head. Jeez! I used to skate. I wasn't super good at it. I can skate. I am a skater. Skate and destroy. Skate to create. I use my powers for good. I could use like five naps. Five good naps in one nap bucket. Jump in. I don't think there's anything else to talk to anybody about either. Oh. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yup. Yup. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Wait, everybody shut <clears throat> Wait, everybody shut up. Can you hear the shuffling footsteps? Maybe that's his game. Hard to tell. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone, be very quiet. 
Because he's not going to hear that standing right outside your door. Crap. Oh, that's right. Bye, Brady. Sad walking. No comments or anything. And you don't recognize this landscape either, or at least I don't. It's hard to tell if it's like a dreamscape type thing, or if it's like somewhere she's actually wandering. She's supposed to maybe be at the hospital. And that's as far as we're going. Dreamscape or not. We're just going to sleep right here next to this mailbox. Seems like a great place. Now we're in the church for some reason. It's hard to tell how much of this is like just what May's mind is like. I, I think it's supposed to be like what May's mind is piecing together. Like maybe she's not actually in the church, but like so she can hear Pastor K talking. So maybe that's what's happening here. Um, when I played it originally, I took it all very literally and I was like, why is she in a church? <laughs> but I don't necessarily think that's true. I think this is what she thinks is happening. God is here. In this room. I believe time like this we can call out and cries are heard. While we're here, Maybe somebody would like to say something nice about May. That'd be nice. May, my friend, please, God, let May be okay. She's a really nice person, even if she doesn't know it. I wrote her a part into a movie I want to make. Thrill Kill Witch Cult. I know she'd appreciate that. Who are you again? Lori Myers. Thank you, Lori. Anyone else? May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And she loved to hear about them. She... I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair that May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. Maybe she's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns her lesson. That's all I got to say. 
Um, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were they were out in the woods at night. Down the end down the end of Center Ave. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell and She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and Oh, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... See if it's like she has... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. Scruffy, the janitor. My house is gone. Me! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. They brought you home. Ugh. Can't check the laptop or anything. I'll let you go past the street, apparently. Am I gonna fall asleep in front of a mailbox again? for me too. I'm just gonna go randomly like knock on doors. I think it'll be great. Can't. Takes a while to get there. Hey. Crap, me. It's me. Holy shit, dude. You thought we were gonna be dead. Dead. Losing a life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I feel woozy. You should lay down. You can in our bed. You feel weird about that? How about the couch? Back to stopping. Oh, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. 
so she just wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere. Out there. Words are hard. I sure hope she's alright. Me too. She's a good person. Both of you. Shh. No. <laughs> Remember the thing at the at the historical society referencing that, where May kept insisting that instead of S's, you had to do t the th and the sound. What? It's less noisy. So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza like twice a week. At least. From out by the house, it's possibility to close down. I thought you were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as we're sure the delivery gets safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light, and I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. Oh. It's him. It's the pizza guy. It was their door buzzer. Pizza's here! How do you figure out the doorbell ringer? Oh, I guess he's been there a bunch of times before. So what happened? We called, we called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were in like a coma? Did you die? Ah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Ah. Yeah, nice. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled? I don't know. I'm in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should. Eat. I don't know. If I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there. B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, can't really eat right now. Like, I puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Alright, let's slowly walk over here. Oh, Germ's still here. Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was like... Really worried. You were correct. 
to worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? What was that game? Werewolf, shred the nor three. Wow, I played this at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Good talk. Um, gonna like wander around your apartment. That's what it's here for. I think we have to be in the other room real quick. And then we'll sleep for the night. Is there a signal here? No Wi-Fi. Ah, okay. I got like a mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is it with Possum Springs and no signal? Yeah, out here in the hills. And we're not We're all still alive or whatever. We should like maybe hang out more. I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Nah. I'll take it. So, B wants to spend more time with you, which is nice. Let's just sit a sec. Sure, dude. I can't remember exactly how long the ending takes, but I know it's longer than I expect every time because I'm like oh I'm almost at the end I can totally just play the rest of this in like an hour and then that's not what happens hey everybody go to bed now holy crap see you all tomorrow you sure it's safe for you to leave safer for me at least nobody's been following me I wasn't in the woods the other night. Oh, right. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, so I got mace. You carry mace? Since that dude followed me home that one time? Oh, right. Hey, May. Yeah, Germ. What's your name short for? Margaret. Take care of yourself, Margaret. You too, Jeremy. I'm trying to make like a sick B or a sick May voice and it doesn't work very well. It just sounds like B. <clears throat> hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then, you said you went all crazy, but like, that's not really a reason, I guess? I was playing that game where you dated, like, where you, like, dated ghosts. I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. Alistair, or something like that. Heh <laughs> yeah. You are crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it, like, 24-7, until this one afternoon... And suddenly, like, something broke. It was just, like, pixels. Your computer broke? No, like, reality broke. The characters on screen. Like, I would felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that reala realization dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front. 
I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. What could I have said? This all happened like... The day before that softball game? I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... He was just shapes too. Just lines somebody wrote. Like, nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know... Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with a bat. Just shapes. Remember, she said that a couple different times. Just shapes. That's a good idea. Thanks, Blacktop Alley. Ah, it's a little burny. <laughs> I'm sure that's healthy. It's fine. kind of chilly tonight. It's gotten cold pretty quickly. Well, I guess it's just normal fall. Gliding down into like the 50s during the day and colder at night. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh god, I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he, like, wondered why. What he'd done. He was probably an asshole. No, dude. I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then you had to go to the therapy. Yeah. Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hanks messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does. Which I guess is understandable because he does like everything. I meant to ask you, <clears throat> did that journal shit, did it actually work? Kinda. Sorta. It helps me like grab on to things and keep them in one place. Whoa! But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Just like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers! Dude! Listen, okay? Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder of something. Really shitty statue. Like, all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. Remember when she's drunk? And that statue pointing at me. Just shapes. I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I didn't eat. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude! And finally, I got up the courage to leave and I came home where everything was fine, where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. 
Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head, in my life. Dude, you should have called me. We could have come and rescued you. Would have, like, kidnapped you. Like, I couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for longest night. I just stayed in my room, in bed. That's, that's horrible, dude. I, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days. And then all this and, 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 dude. Dude, shh, you're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. Hi. And Greg's asleep. <clears throat> she just gonna wander off again because that's what may do but now you finally know like what happened um they keep referring to that incident Lori calls her killer um Steve, Steve Scriggins says something along the lines of everybody remembers you um what else um, I think Greg references it once or twice, and B references it once or twice. Um, but now you know why all that happened, and she doesn't tell people, like, why she came home. She's just like, I needed to come home. But it's because she had, like, a mental breakdown, and, like, a very serious break with reality. Mental health stuff, it's important to talk about. Bye, guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. This should be the last part. Uh oh. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Nice shot. I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Ugh, you having shot me. Hey, asshole, get away from her. Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. Oh, there's a lot of swearing there. Yeesh. Ugh. How rude. <laughs> He's apparently a werewolf now. You okay, dude? Uh, where did? Hey, jerk! Why the hell are you out here by yourself? This is all because of me. Oh yeah, dude, all your fault. You definitely made those dudes creep around. Following us and, like, kidnapping someone, maybe? <clears throat> yeah, you did it with your effing mind control powers. <clears throat> Dude, come off it! He... It... It's in my dreams. Dude! Dude! You don't get to do this, okay? 
I don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. You are not gonna do that to me, okay? But dude, I... Okay. <clears throat> We've been best friends since forever. You big dumb idiot. And even if this was somehow all your fault, all in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you. To the actual God's honest end. <clears throat> Jeez, me too. Clearly, clearly we all would be. I shot a dude for you, come on! And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry. And, Greg. <laughs> you like that cough? Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. You all wait here. I'll go. Nobody's gonna let her get away with that. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk, May? I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. Gates open. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> what? We could, like, block it shut or something. Uh. Ah, oh, dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever. It's in there. I have to go in there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one. Something. Bing bing. Jeez. Spooky. I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Nah, dude. We created a legend. This is all different. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. So I think... B says something about being like best available friends or something like that there. If you pick her. You can hear weird, weird sounds if you listen close, and I shut up. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this. Yeah, May, are you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying. We're dead already. I, I don't know what's going to happen down here. All right, then. Down we go, together. That was kind of loud. Oh, 
That thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. <laughs> Are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourist pamphlets at the shop and I get bored. This is in the brochure? I'm sure they talk about the mining history. They had the big miners riot and everything. Well, here we are. <laughs> I've decided that Shashi coughs. <laughs> May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like... Something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh! I heard something. Down there. You going to be okay, May? I'm all right. We should be quiet. Yeah, we'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. I like having a little party of characters. Makes it feel very RPG-esque. Also, I like how this is kind of like vaguely reminiscent to her dreamscapes and stuff like you can see kind of there's almost like stars in the darkness and then there are little flashes of orange so it's like the color scheme is the same I mean a little less blue but still like blacks dark colors dark cool colors and then flashes of bright orange so I think that's pretty cool door door tunnel Whatever. Here we go. Some of those weird sounds. They're really disconcerting. Here is one of the stars that you can find. If you answer the teens right, you can find the stars, and this is one of them. Uh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And, like, junk. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh, God. What is it? I don't know. But it's here. It's through there. Here. I can't point the right direction on camera yet. <laughs> Takes practice. go into that dark part mm. like in real life I would so you know mm -mm. I don't like enclosed places anyway I don't even like to be in an elevator let alone like a cavern that could theoretically like crumple in on you and bury you alive no thanks I I don't know if I could like even if the fit well I guess maybe if the fate of the world or something were on my shoulders to do that. Like, I had to do that to save people. Maybe. That would be, like, the only way that I could do it, though. Me and enclosed places, we do not get along. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Oh, that's not her. 
Well, how about this? Take a few more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you are. That's why you wouldn't walk into a dark hole blind. You could fall down a shaft. There they are. They're right there. I'm going to kill them. Edie, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot out the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. That was me, sir. My bad. You're apologizing? Was a bad call. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... It's a weird conversation. Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. The, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, oh, well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to, gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that Edie... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. Don't call me little girl. That's... That mean. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I felt it? it? Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it, 20 years back or so, after the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vess Schumacher, last supervisor, was out here when the company blocked off the entrance, carved his initials and the date in the door. And then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper. Abandoned shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator. Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal. Just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through the wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But if but someone else does. I know you heard the voice, girl. In dreams, and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. Uh, I can't remember which gets you the best answer. Maybe this one? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations. Sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants while we worked ourselves to death. Oh, here we go. 
God damn it, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and we prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scooter came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Um, Ed explained it to a few folks. They didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. Had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones he takes a shine into. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time we picked one out, well... Not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger, and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. First time? First one into the hole by our own hands. We own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one who's going to be missed. It's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. Casey? The Hardly kid? All he was going to contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long, before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him up favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. We know he was taken up you know he was taken up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey! You want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh, God. Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters! Maybe they should have cared about him more before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend! All right now, throw it down or I'll shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here. Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I, I. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. They're sacrificing people who don't fit, who don't Society's unwanted to try to help profit the system, the town. And, like, I took that very literally the first time, but kind of look at it as a metaphor. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that 
We lost what our world was built around. Used to be, you provided for a family. You bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at a grocery store. Kids are leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. Houses left empty. You ever seen that? I think all, we all have. Small town America is dying. A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood. To carry this on when we're gone. Really, you're like pitching us on this. Or any of you even miners back in the day. Any of you hurting now, financially? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane! Why shouldn't we just call the cops? And say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned gate or an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run that you saw a hole. Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, do you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard? 2010 that's what happens and beyond that the jobs never come back kids never come back everything crumbles possum spring bleeds to death and soon we'll all be dead and this town will be just fields and trees I've seen it I know you have I'll understand if some of you need to think it, I'll understand if you need to some time to think it over. That was a weird sentence. So we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Edie. I, you don't know a thing about what he wants. What he is. Edie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. <clears throat> Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I... I can't move, guys. I'll carry you. My brain is in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything is empty. What are we gonna do? We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a second, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. 
Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen? Which was what had happened like a long time ago? Or how they remember it? Or like picture it? And things it gave them? And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make out of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go ready to go again, Angus? Yup, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh I thought I I don't know which one's X is. Yeah, kick him in the face! Kick him in the face! That's pretty gruesome. Makes me uncomfortable watching it, even after a couple of times. Maybe because I'm a nurse and I see when things are actually cut off. Holy God. Is everyone okay? Me! 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 Say something! <laughs> Why are we laughing? Why are we laughing? I'm not gonna do all that, my voice hurts. Why are we laughing? Dude, it's okay now. We messed that guy up. He's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So how are we getting out of here? Shh, let me rest. Okay, yeah, but we need to find the way out of the cave-in, which is terrifying. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. You would find that out if you did the, uh... The, like, spook date with Angus. You go up to Possum Jump and you find out that he was a scout. Hey, Angus? Yeah? I love you. <laughs> Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now, er, better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Excuse me, random herb. Can we get through? Let's find out. <clears throat> Let's... Get out of here. Oop. I missed the board. Oh, everybody's little paws help. That's so cute. Yep. <clears throat> That's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river? Oh. <clears throat> mine river! We're in a mine! Right. Still spooky sounds. 
But also water? Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. Or are we? That's more than a foot of water. It goes up over her tummy. Well. I don't know what you are now. No, I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I lost, trying so hard since not to be angry, got me all defenseless. I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, there's like weird gasping in the background. On the bus, I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I am so scared all the time, and the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long, hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. Pretty amazing to be something, at least. That is not, that is not words, good sir. You know I can't understand you, right? Thank you, sir. Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Oh. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I just... I'm very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's a light over there. <laughs> did you smell that? I, I bet he did. Because he smelled the uh, water and the fresh air. Nobody to talk to? All right. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Brochure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! <laughs> Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. Hi. I can try to make it out. <clears throat> no, I can, like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? Like, 
No, like when your body is like, uh, whoa, I almost died, and you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Oh, okay. There. Thank you. Those. Okay, well. Ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Yeah, you can jump again. This one's kind of hid behind Angus's head. Platforming, action, 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 action. Swelling music, dramatic. been a really bad night. Sounds like it. <clears throat> Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? Hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here? In the woods. He said he lived in a tree, and you said you wouldn't doubt it. Wheeze. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best germ. You need the sugar and the caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal the seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. It was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the death of like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. <laughs> At best. We are not murderers. Like, if we had to choose, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. 
That's true. I would have. Um. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell anymore, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? <clears throat> okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Hey guys, uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's gonna happen? But I guess you can like connect things or connect two things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have, even if you're someone, even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I don't appreciate that. Hello, El. Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to be a part of some horrible story. I want to grow giant and pick you all up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I'm all rambly now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape or at least move on. Germ buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. You're like the most stuck here of anyone I've met. But you're the least trapped. That's some beautiful shit, dude. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to feed and water him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh shit. Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Dog off, May. Log off. Broom. Can you imagine just like noticing people not being around town? And you're like, that was one of the cultists. No nightmare. Get my little booty boots. There where she was, eaten by the hole. There's just shapes. Uh, I think that's about all of our new stuff. Lori M. Wow, we went through a lot of stuff. We've been playing this for a lot of hours. This is your last day, so it's 
the game's almost done. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You massive dork, lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snoutin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. <clears throat> Away message. It's good to be alive this morning, that's all. Charcoal. Weather service. Snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? Snow isn't far away from us either. Midwest snow. Epilogue. Stars. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. That's a good, good goal. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird! <laughs> That's what she leaves it at? <laughs> okay. I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937, Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. An influence on the 20th and 21st century of horror. Science fiction and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. That was a longer sentence than I expected. <laughs> hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Of course I want to talk to Mommers. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom. I, you're an adult. And you can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you are still my baby. Ah, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because... Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left? To hang out with your friends? I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what is going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, Hun? I don't care what it is. Please, just tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close. Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. 
What did? The fall. Always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. Love you too, mommer. Does she say anything extra? Eels, maybe? Are you still reading the same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Spooky coincidence. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure. Far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far away across the din. I hear the Lord a calling their children. Bringing in, bringing in. I'll see you walking through the volley. And we'll follow each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a calling their children. Bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bringing them in, bringing them in. Bring them in, bring them in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. <laughs> I think that's all she says now. Yeah. All right, we talked to Mommer. I think Dadder's outside this morning. Because he's got the day off. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Ah, Dad. Why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay enough to live. Job's supposed to pay enough to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Work's, worker's supposed to have... Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on the house, hold on to the house. Try to at least. My friend Germ his dad works for the Department of Transportation. He talked about you getting a union going at Ham Panther. They fire you just for talking about it. Is that legal? Legal don't always matter. Ain't that the truth? Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here. Listen, I'm gonna be around tonight for dinner. Wow, what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we could make breakfast. Oh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff too. Just one big, uh, stuff session. That sounds great, kitten. Love you, Dad. Love you, too. Be back later. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad! Dum -da dum 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 Cats are playing in the bag. Um, I don't know that it lets you go over to the side of town anymore. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I guess it does. Look at the snow! It's so pretty. I like the snow in real life too, but I don't really care a whole lot for the, uh, for the cold. The extended length of cold. And the trees without leaves, that's kind of hard. Makes me kind of sad. Oh. 
I was hoping that rabies would come and we could say bye to rabies, but I don't know that he does on this last day. He does! Hey, rabies! I bet your life is exciting. Playing with your friends. I mean, you're a champ. You've got to be popular. Eating garbage and common pets. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <clears throat> My brother brought up a really good point that um, possums can't get rabies. It's just like an interesting side note. <clears throat> I feel like I'm just glad the world includes you, dude. All right, I got a jet. See you later, rabies. Stay cool. Stay alive. Aww. I didn't know why. That's a that's a nice little uh, tidbit. All I know is we leave them alone. <laughs> can't remember if you can talk to Mr. Chazikov this last night. This is your last day to do stuff. Um, you, it's more or less just you, like, kind of closing up parts of your story, more or less. Oh, wow! The Kareem's got a new dog! Hey, puppers! Oh, she saw me! I can see you from here! I will be watching! So beware. And be a good pup. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Oh, wait. That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have en enough damn trucks for this thing. Cause slip, and slip sliding up and down this goddamn hill, Colleen. Half tempted to close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas always are always the most important and the most thought out. What the? What the? We gonna do another balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I think we can all, I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen. Too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. We could just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the county and the state. Colleen's right on this one, too. Damn it, Colleen. If you two... If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. All right, well, now that that's settled, what are we doing about the road? It's surprising that none of them are missing. Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. We can always agree that it's time to eat. 
See, we can still make decisions. Ha ha ha. Move out, troops. Cats, stop. All right. I didn't want to miss that. I wasn't sure if that was timed or not. So now I have to bounce all the way back over here and bounce up the tree. Oh, there's Molly. Hey, what are you doing here? Working, May. Sure. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. You mean like people were missing because they may or may not be trapped in a mine? What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen. Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May. Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez. Until now, I never considered that. May. Okay, fine. Thanks. Bye. She really does not get along with her Aunt Molly. Or doesn't like her, or something. I should have given her a Boston accent, too! I don't know which um, parent she's supposed to be the sister of, but uh, it could have been, it could have been uh, her mom's. And then she could have also had a Boston accent. Talk about coffee. Maybe next time. Spooky clothes. Gotta start the game over to change your accent. I might actually play through on a B road at some point. Like, do the all of the B um, friend dates or whatever you want to call it. She is the mother's sister. <gasps> no, I have failed you. I should start doing my own laundry. Sometime. That's all you're going to say? Can't I jump on this? Yeah. Jump! Jump! Hi, Mr. Chazakov. Hey, me. Hey, Mr. Chazakov. Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. Filter. She must have learned her lesson. She didn't yell. Oh, oh. But it's this one. Found it! Let us consult the guide. That guy's freezing. Erskine the fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark. Making a fire and huddling up to it. For light and for warmth. Sounds festive! Sounds like survival. Hmm. This star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what they made for us? Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars or name them. 
but we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? S something, something, something. My grad granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened because hearing it happened to you. That is nice. It's not bad. That is super interesting. Like to look at it that way. A discovery in a non traditional sense of the word. Or a story. Okay, I'm done looking at those. So what right now? Super moon is coming. What's that? A giant moon. Ooh, that does sound super. You must come and meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. You come and I will make hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chezikov. See you soon, Stargazer. I thought you got something special in your journal if you did them all. But I don't see it, so. They're not even together. I thought they were together in a section, but. Alright, so we checked on Mr. Chazikoff. Let's talk to this guy. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. That's really all you're gonna say. Hey, May. Sup, Summers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need them. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I did not know that. It's not entirely true, but... I used to work at the pharmacy. Alright. Well, if I ever have a headache, or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Oh, no poem for the last time? What's that face? I scared the crap out of that squirrel. Some of our miracle rats. See? The pregnant raccoon lady now has a little baby in her, in her carriage. I like that. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not a flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. I think the teens are over here to talk to. Maybe. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Stay safe, all right? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Knife, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Okay. I guess that's all we're saying to him. You hear my cat meowing in the background. Uh, let's see. wonder if she says anything about the Casey Hartley poster now. Nope. And none of, the, none of this has changed. You can still bounce the yarn ball. Indy, come here. Come on. Go up and see Pastor K. Come on, Indy. Get on vent. 
Raid time. Cat on vent. Man, that's been years ago at this point. Cat, where are you? Come on. Come here. No, I don't want it. Come on. Don't you want to be on the video? Come on. No. Oh, hello. Thank you for the follow. I'm trying to get you a key on this. Come on. No. Oh, my goodness. Kitty. He's like, no, I don't want to be here. Take my tail in your face. He does that a lot. Okay, sit down, buddy. Okay, or get down, whatever. Pooper. Let's go find Pastor K. She might be outside, actually. Yep. Hmm. I wonder if you can still go back to the back. You can! Can you still sleep here? you have to have the sunshine. I was gonna say bye to my grandpa. Take that car. Is she out here? Anybody out here? There she is. <clears throat> hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. I could use it for so many things, but you tried. All we can do, and God will show up when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh. I can't do it now, but <laughs> run along, May. I don't think there's anything out here. Weird that the music stops when you're out there. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. Bounce back down. You can see that the light pole decorations are up for Christmas. Our fiddler guy is not there anymore. Go away, pigeon. Hey, 
Hey, Lori. Hey, you okay? Hey. I heard you were like in the hospital or something. <laughs> yeah. What for? I fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Um, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. All right, you don't have to tell me. So, you're really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Ha, ah, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh, good. That's good. I wonder if they'll ever figure out who messed up the dudes. The dudes? The mural in the tunnel. Oh, I did that. I forgot that. What? Why? I don't know. That's not a reason? Why do you care so much? It's the dudes. Um, the dudes are sacred. Why? They're like a part of this place. This entire place is totally messed up. And nobody cares. I wanted someone to notice things aren't okay. This town is like a horror movie that never stops. And it's not even a good one. Yeah, it might suck. But it's our horror movie. Um, what kind of movie would you want it to be? I don't know. Romantic comedy. Everyone lives in a clean, lives in clean, shiny places there. And they're all pretty. And they kiss. But they're so horrible to sit through. And you even end up hating every person on screen. Yeah. They're always pretty hateable. It's okay to hate them. They're not real people. Yeah, fictional people don't mind. I meant the actors. Me too. You know, does your family do stuff for the holidays? My dad's usually away on Thanksgiving. But he's home for longest night. You should come do Thanksgiving at my house. Oh, no, no, no. Come on! We have four chairs and there's only three of us. The other chair usually just has junk on it. No, 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 I can't. Why not? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hey, hey, okay, we can talk about it later. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> you okay? Can I do anything? No, it's cool. I just need to uh, chill out. Uh, quiet for a while. Okay, I'll leave you alone then. I'll see you tomorrow probably. May? Yep. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. No prob, kid. Try not to like burn something down in the meantime. See ya. I want to talk to the cat, but I can't remember how to get up there. Do you have anything else to say? No. Hmm. Not important. I don't think we have anything else to check up here on this screen. There's the janitor. Hey, it's you! Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor, Scruffy. I clean up, do fix-its. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. 
What it's like? What's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I feel ever bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something. <laughs> but I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while to see what comes of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelters came tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha ha. Ha Wait, how did he know my name? Wait, how do you know my name? <laughs> Mysterious janitor. Um. So I'm gonna split part time. How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with a computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night. We're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. We can all put in requests. That is adult life. Trying to uh, get together with your friends and you all have things every day that the other person doesn't have things. It's pretty much adult life. Uh, apparently you can't check in with B. Oh, that's right. She said she shut the, uh, the old pickaxe for the day. There's a lizard guy. Well, fall sure is ending. Looks that way. I've, uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk! Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's c cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. But then you can go get a coffee or hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here till you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. I'm gonna put my arms down now. Probably a good idea. Blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. here to talk to? Alright. I know that we're going on like four and a half hours, but we're almost done. Holy crap! 
Uh, uh, taco, please! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since they got all rid of all of those steaks in the diner. Diner, we got the internet. We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago because it's eternally two decades behind here. Takes you three days to torrent a movie. Takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they deliver! I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos! So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding this sign out on the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who does not love tacos. Bad news. My ex hate tacos. Good news. They're your ex. <laughs> we have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in. Dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try, our all, try out all lettuce taco. No. I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. Try an all lettuce taco. Can I not talk to you? Okay. More of our miracle rats. I missed, really. One last newspaper. What's in the news? Gonna be cold winter, worst in years. How can they predict that? Uh, future's all guesswork. That wasn't worth the time it took to get up there. Mm. I don't think it'll let you go out to the edge of town. Look at all of our miracle rats. What? What is this? <laughs> my babies! My little rat babies! Wow, not so little anymore. You've made it! You've broken free! It's a miracle! I'm just gonna enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. Stuff has so much to do in the epilogue. This is why I probably should have cut it at like three hours and we could have done another two hours and then started the new whatever. Got to spend some time with your rats. I think Germ is at the, uh, whatever you call it, at the band practice. I don't think he's here. He's always at our band practice. My throat hurts. It was a little sore beforehand. Now it's really sore. But we're almost there. Last thing. Promise. Didn't I promise last time that I wasn't going to go 3 hours and 45 minutes and now I'm at 4 hours and 26 minutes? I mean, I guess they are not the same number. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. <laughs> well, look who's alive and well to you, too. Yeah. Yeah. 
want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah, let's do it. Jeez, that door never gets any less stuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. I'm so ready for cold weather. Oh, I hate winter. Winter's good, actually. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. Oh, that was her, sorry. Where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. Go play those Legion Hall shows in Fort Lucene. Oh wow, those were fun. We'd be the oldsters now. Yup. So, uh, you okay? I guess. I mean, as much as I can even tell today. Yeah. Hmm. Suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I didn't, and I, I was actually looking. I The last couple times I've played it, I've looked for people that were missing and I didn't really notice any. I don't know, but I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell. This kind of thing, happen to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like, I don't really get what even happened down there with you and the whatever it was. The murder cult of dads. The cosmic horror. Okay, yeah, that. Um, it's old. Something older than anything I can think of. And you can feel it inside. And it's, and it's in a hole outside of town? Yes. No. Like, the thing in the hole is like, geez, I lost it. It's okay. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me back in the day. Like what I was telling you about on the couch last night? God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. Heh <laughs> yeah. What a weird fall it's been. Yeah, I mean, even aside from last night. Weirdness, weirdest couple weeks of my life. Oh man, if you even knew. I went to Germ's house the other day. Holy shit. I've never been there. Oh, it's nice. Up in the woods, got a trampoline. Oh, lucky. So his grandma told me my fortune, a little, vaguely. I could have just been hearing what I wanted to hear or something. Jerem told me my fortune once. Maybe it's like a family thing. Um, how do you do it? He looked at a bite at bite marks and some pizza we were eating. Pizza answer. Did you eat pizza with Jerm's grandma or something? Nah, just looked at me. So what did she tell you? I mean, if you squint, sort of what happened last night. I mean, she was also like really rude about my whole, you know, brain issues. <laughs> but still, kind of spooky. And like, Okay, so there's this other person, this Lori girl I've been hanging out with. Who's Lori? Lori Meyer. She's like 15, lives out by the tracks. You're hanging out with teens now? Eh, she needs a role model. That's nice of you, dude. We were doing this thing where we put these little metal guys on the tracks, and the train runs them over and they get all deformed. Oh yeah, I used to do that with pennies. Guess I wasn't thinking big enough. Germ's grandma and just all of this, like there's some sort of thing under this holding it all together 
but not because it cares about us. The thing in the hole, the ghost in the dreams, or whatever, which I barely remember now. Even like Possum Springs. We used to have a lot of stuff. We used to have a lot more jobs than people and stuff. And now we don't. And none of it's anyone's fault, really. Anyway, anyone here and now, at least. When I was squashing those little toy, go toy guys with Lori, jeez. I was like, whoa, this is us. I don't know. It's all like dream logic or whatever. I feel like there are these giant, like, when the mills shut down and when the mines shut down. But those assholes down in the tunnel thought they could bring it back. Or like, nobody goes to church anymore, but God's still going to come back or something. Or like, you leaving the sheep thing open. Hey. Like to them, the gate's gone. And to you, the sheep are gone. And then like, my whole bullshit and... Okay, I lost my train of thought. That's really hard to follow, even when you know what she's talking about. And I didn't read it the greatest either because I'm getting tired. Man, you're right. You have had a weird couple of weeks. You need, like, something. Yeah, man. Looking forward to Longest Night. Something to, like, reset everything. We got in all that Longest Night stuff at work. You can just come down there. Earlier and earlier every year. The Christmas creep. Oh, I also gave us a rat infestation in town. What? Eh, it's like the one good thing that's happened. Hope springs. Rats multiply. Very poetical. I am extremely poetical. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? Or let them, or tell them he's in a bottomless hole, in a tunnel, in the woods, with a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon? Hmm. Guess we should try to tell them. That's a hard one. Okay, you get to figure out what we say. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important we know it, that they know at least makes it mean something. I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything. Or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or like, meant anything? Hmm. Does it, Gregory? Hey, babies. Hey, hon. Babies. How was work? Jeez, I'm sore from, like, everything. Gotta do stretches. So, like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? Uh, hmm. I thought you, like, couldn't leave home. Eh, you guys are home enough. Or maybe I'll just visit for one, once in a while, once you guys get settled in. Of course. Dude, that'd be rad. Hey, guys. Yeah? Thanks for saving me last night, like, repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. Hey, B. Hey, B. Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Ugh, don't ask me. Can't we just, like... Play a song and get pizza and think about this tomorrow. I had a dream that the world was ending. Song and pizza. All right. Sweet. It 
does, dude. What? Answering your question like two minutes ago? What question? What were we even talking about? There you go. <coughs> so, it has been four hours and 37 minutes, so I'm probably not gonna rattle on too long, but I love this game. I still think that it's one of the coolest games. There isn't a whole lot of gameplay to it. It's kind of more of a, like, choose your own adventure novel. You get to choose the different lines of dialogue and whatnot. It's a really good game. And it's so... The more... Once you play it, like, twice, you really do see... <clears throat> you see America, like, in it. It's... I don't know. Like, it reflects my experiences, anyway. And it gives you some, you know... It does kind of condemn those guys for, you know, sacrificing society's lowest and easiest targets, but it also shows you that they are desperate and that they are sad and that they just want things to be happy and wonderful again, and they're willing to do some pretty nasty stuff for it. So remember that the other side feels about the same way as you do, but they're just handling it in a maybe less productive manner or different manner depending on what side you're coming from of course but it's just this is a wonderful little game and yeah the uh the guy that wrote it i believe either wrote it or helped produce it or something one of the main creators of this game um actually killed himself he had had a lot of mental health issues and then he was his ex-girlfriend accused him of like sexual abuse or something or somebody accused him of sexual abuse and she he killed himself um Alec Holoka or however you say his name that's the one that killed himself I'm pretty sure Sharkle yeah. hello and uh, it made me, like, legitimately sad when I heard that. Hold on to anything. I got an achievement. I'm not really sure which one. Rip, Casey. Duh. So we missed a couple things. I, I think you have to do a couple playthroughs to get a full notebook. I think it you have to. There's something weird that goes here, too that we missed. Anyhow, so that was this, and um, next week, I haven't made my decision for 100%. Most of you know me in real life. You can, you can text me or send me a message on Facebook, or you can send me a message on here. I guess there's a messaging system that I didn't even know about. <laughs> but you can uh, weigh in if you want something older, like Chrono Trigger. That's like one of my favorite games, or um, newer um, so I will see you at least on Sunday. Um, I will keep up the Thursday stream if that works this week. I am not really sure. I have a lot of school stuff going on, and it's a very heavy load. So it might be that I just turn my midweek stream into, like, an upload that I just fit in when I'm playing games sometime. Um, it's a little easier to do that than to time everything. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. It means a lot to me that you guys are here and listening and put up with a four hour and 41 minute session. So thank you very much. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your, okay, that's, it's, there's not, it's not even Sunday anymore. It's, it's Monday. Have <laughs> a wonderful Monday. <laughs> Bye guys. You're welcome. <laughs>